Okay, COVID had some businesses slowing down, but Higher Grounds Cafe has kept up with making sure they are taking care of their customers. And now they're expanding into Apache Junction. And Danny is here with us this morning. Good morning, Danny. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. You were the lifeline to a lot of people in Gilbert because <laughs> coffee was so important. <laughs> but also what's very important is that you guys knew that people were going through some hard times up and down. Yeah. So your coffee shop was kind of like their place to come and, and I guess kind of like re relax and to enjoy and not be overpriced on coffee and different stuff. Yeah, yeah, like um, for example, during Mother's Day, a lot of people wanted to give their mom something like a meal or, you know, coffee or, and we were open then for pickup and we had these really cool um, like baskets for them yeah. that they could come and get. So like that was during COVID so, too. All right, let's talk a little history about HG Roastery. Now that I'm like in the club, cause you can call it Higher Grounds or HG Roastery. Yes. So <laughs> how, family owned, how long you guys had this? Um, so we opened in 2013, so we're going on about eight and a half years now, um, so pretty long. Yeah, and it's it's your husband, mm -hmm. your brother-in-law, and mm -hmm. mom, yeah. mother-in-law, mother all working there. So it's definitely yeah. family-owned, and you're excited about it. Yes, yeah, and we have some other staff, too, but it's it's a family operation. We all co-own the shop together. Very good. So. I like that. All right, you brought some <laughs> things here. Yes. Because, again, people are looking for mm -hmm. good coffee, so yeah. the tumbler is very important, yes. right? Yes, you got to have, uh, you know, coffee, so um, you get that in the tumbler. <laughs> okay, and then here, this is so important. The yeah. press. Yes. A lot of people don't understand about the press. How oh, yeah. does the press actually work for people? So a French press is a type of brewing method. Um, what you do is you basically immerse the coffee inside of hot inside this thing with hot water, and then you let it sit for about mm, three to five minutes, depending on how strong you want the coffee. And uh, then when you're ready, you push it down, and then you serve it kind of like uh, like a beer pitcher. You can have it for everybody. Yeah. Now, do you put the beans in there, or you put the ground up? You put ground up ground up beans in there up, so. and you want to have it to be a coarse grind if it's too fine it'll go through the filter and then like, you also have a bunch of ground yeah and stuff. you don't want to drink the kind of the soot you want yeah. to drink the coffee i like it yeah let's talk about your roastery your uh, roast yeah. uh, roastery a roaster you got it yeah roastery i did it yeah Woo! <laughs> give me some points here all right let's talk about the different kind because i see some yeah. brazil in there what is that yeah so um our coffee shop we roast all of our beans locally so that means when you walk in our doors you'll see our roaster and it's a it's a small one um usually they they vary between sizes but ours is about a 10 kilo roaster um, we roast beans from all over the world that are within the coffee belt. So uh, some of our favorites are Brazil, Colombia, Costa Rica. Um, we also have like Guatemala sometimes and we make various blends. And so um, this one is just Brazil. So it's a single origin. And, and why yeah. do people like like go, oh my gosh, I gotta have some Brazilian mm -hmm. coffee. Why, is it just the beans? What is it, like the region or? Uh, yeah, so different regions have different fra flavor profiles. So they'll, you know, you'll get a taste, like for example, Brazil's like super chocolatey, very rich. Depending on the roast profile that you give it, it can have a totally different flavor. But Brazil tends to be just a very smooth drink. Wow. Um, and then some people will go for like stuff from Indonesia, for example. I don't know how to actually, Mon Mangla Bay, I don't wanna say oh, it good. Me and you and you yeah. and I, we're good. I'll do it yeah. here, we'll do it together. Uh, Mangla, Mango, Mango Bay beans Mang here, I got it. I, I say Mango Bay, but Okay, that's Mango, wrong. I'll go with you too. So <laughs> there goes one too, which is kind of neat. That's, so yeah. So there you go, so the different ones. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so neat about actually being a, um, we could say mom and pop or mm -hmm. husband and wife team, yeah. is that you're able to talk to the people about the coffees, mm -hmm. not knocking the other places, but they're able to, you know, that's what's so great about being local. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, go <laughs> and talk with them. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you have um, beans by the monkeys? Do you know that bean? By the monkeys? Yeah. Do you know that? <laughs> no. Okay, good. All right, oh, let me ask oh. you. you know, oh, you know what I'm talking about. No. Where, the, where they eat the berries and stuff? And then they poop out the beans. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. No, we don't serve, uh, it's like ca ca cavit coffee yeah, or something. Yeah, something like that. It's gross, no. no. <laughs> no. I wondered about that. Like, no. I mean, this this is such an like, impressive thing, but yeah. I don't know if I really, you know. Uh, yeah. Where the, yeah, the monkeys go and eat the bean, eat yeah. the fruit or something, and then they go no. around. No, no, no. Not we'll, we're keeping it food safe here in Arizona. <laughs> um, so, yeah, all our stuff's very fresh. So, awesome. <laughs> all right, really quick. You moved into Apache Junction with a nice, mm -hmm. uh, quiet little opening, which you guys are excited about. Yes, yes. So, uh, the start of September, we actually opened a coffee outlet. We call it the the baby shop because the mother shop is in Gilbert. 
Um, and that opened, soft open, in September. And our grand opening is in uh, December, December 17th. Cool, and you gotta go check it out. And mm -hmm. that's what's, Apache Junction's drawing all that out there, it's Gilbert and everything. Yeah. Tell people where you're located and your website. So we are located in Superstition Ranch Farmer's Market. We are inside, right when you walk through the double doors. We are, um, our website is HG Coffee AZ. So you're able to order beans online there for shipment or pickup. So. Perfect, yeah. Danny, thank you. Yeah, this is awesome. All thank right, you. <laughs> there you go. Got some coffee for you. And don't worry, we got more coffee talk for you because we have a lot more there. Daily mix. <laughs>